Hi everyone, Pamela from Design Wishes by Pamela here to share with you a rotating desktop caddy that I use the um, Graphic 45 Imagine paper collection to make. The um, guest towel holder is a thrifted item from my sister Mary. She's really good at picking out thrifted items that I could repurpose and I love repurposing thrifted or recyclable items. So this one is one of my favorites. I really like the format. I really like the footprint of this. It's small, not very tall. Uh, so it works out perfect for a desktop caddy. And as always with some of my thrifted items, I use the Liquitex acrylic gesso. I really love the coverage. I put about two coats of that on the holder. And then I also applied a metallic gold paint from Deco Art. I really love this color. It is 24 karat gold. That's the color. And I'm going to open it up so you can take a look at how really beautiful this is. It really looks like a bright gold color. And I think that highlights the gold um, in the paper collection from Graphic 45 very well. So um, it rotates. I keep saying that, <laughs> but it does. And I think that's super awesome. One thing I want to note that I use the Minwax Polycrylic and Clear Matte to coat the guest towel holder because I didn't want the scissors or anything else I put on that bar to scrape the paint. This is another great tip from my sister. Love the polycrylic. So um, as you can see, it holds scissors perfectly. It will also um, hold anything that you want to add to that bar. It's very sturdy. Um, it may be a thrifted item, but it is really sturdy. To hold the cups onto the metal post of the guest towel holder, I used a combination of the Gorilla Glue and Clear and Glossy Accents on the ribbon that I used to wrap the cups around. And, it's, and you can see there's the ribbon there. And it really holds well. I put a few things in the cup, but you can see that I use both the Gorilla Glue on the ribbon and then on the cup bases. So it is on there nice and strong. That is after um, I let it sit for 24 hours. And I just use washi tape to hold it in place. So um, here are some of the cut aparts that I matted with some craft color, uh, craft colored um, cardstock to match the cups. And the cups are a celebrated treat cup set. I've used this set before in another project. Um, I happened to get this on clearance some time ago from Michaels. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I do know you can get the lidded pint size um, cups on the online. You can get it from different vendors. So I took the lid and I put it upside down and that's what you see there. And I trimmed it out with some of the designer paper. And since it was light side, um, graphic 45, hashtag light side, I used light colors from the paper collection. Here I used my EK punch for that border on the cut apart there. And again, this isn't a truly inspirational paper collection. So not only does it inspire, inspire one as an individual, but it also inspires you as an artist. So here you see me putting a few more items in and you see how well it doesn't have the cup sagging. So you can load it up. I wouldn't load it up too much, but I have three glue bottles in that upper cup and the ribbon's not sagging, nor is the the cup sagging at all. Always like to add bling and this is another thrifted item from my sister. So all I did was change out the wire from gold um, from silver to gold. So I just changed the wire out to match the theme of the of the rotating caddy. I fussy cut some uh, of the butterflies from the paper and then also the two stamps from the cut aparts in the paper collection uh, on top. And then I just added a few flowers that I had to tie in the teal theme 
in the paper collection. I really do like the way this desk caddy turned out. It's perfect. It's not too big. It will hold quite a bit. Uh, you can put pens, pencils, you can put candy in it. You could put your little scraps in it as you're working on your desktop. And again, those scissors come, um, just go right over that ball there easily. So I'm sure any universal pair of scissors will work. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Follow me in the link below, and I hope to make another video soon. Thank you so much for watching.